Hey, Afiq, over here. Hey, Tiger. How are you? Good. Have you considered what I told you? Yeah. Any problem? Uh, no. Okay. So, all I need to do is just go to Singapore and open a bank account. Ah, easy money. Here's $1,050 for you to deposit into the account. You take out $50 to buy the Singapore SIM card. The remainder is for your personal expenses. Wow. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so, anything else? Of course, there is more. You receive $2,000 Singapore dollars for this job. $2,000 Sing dollars? Just to open an account? Open account, later do some withdrawals. The money that you withdraw, you pass it to me. This is the Singapore bank where you go to open an account. I'll see you tomorrow. Bring the ATM card and other bank documents. Just to make sure everything's in order. Okay. Uh, hi. Yeah, I would like to get a SIM card uh, that has data so I can message people. No worries. Now they all the SIM card come with data. Uh, I need your IC. I am Malaysian. Uh, passport can? Okay, can. This is a $15 SIM card. Hi sir, can I help you? Yeah, uh, I would like to open a savings account and uh, deposit $1,000 inside. Okay, please wait for a while. Okay sir, this is your ATM card, your passbook, your iBanking username and PIN. The $1,000 has been deposited in your savings account. You can change your PIN at any ATM. Thank you. Perfect. You had no problems opening the bank account, right? No, no problem at all. Uh, here's the bank detail and the ATM card. Everything looks in order. Okay, that's it. That's it? Okay, hold on to this. For now, you just go home. Just wait for me to call you. Okay. to bring your IC and go down to the nearest police station as you have a police case pending. If you need any clarification, please press zero. Hi, Inspector Lim from the Singapore Police Force. Can I have your name and IC number, please? Yeah, my name is Li Xi Ying and my IC number is S891402798. Okay, please hold on. Huh? Yes, Ms. Lee, it appears there's a pending case against you in China and the case number is A459678. And as this case is from China itself, I will have to connect you with an officer from the China Police Force. Please hold. Hey, I'm the Chinese Republic of the Chinese Republic of the Chinese Republic. Are you the Li Xiao Jie? The case number is A459678. Yes, it's me. How are you doing this? How are you doing this? 根据我们公安部门的记录，你因为收集洗黑钱，正在受到我们中国警方的调查。不可能！哎，你们真的是来自中国的公安部门吗？喂？喂？话被切断了，你肯定认得中国警方的紧急电话号码吧？对呀、啊，幺幺零确实是中国紧急的电话号码。现在我正在传送给你一个网址，你点开它，登录，然后填写你的个人信息。记住，这点很重要，因为能协助我们的调查工作。哎，可是我怎么能确定你真的是来自中国的公安人员呢
，我们完全可以把这个案子交给新加坡警方处理。目前我们对你所掌握的证据，你会马上被他们遣送回中国。哎，不用不用不用，没有这个必要好吗？我很肯定这是一个误会。你确认你的个人资料是不是跟我们犯罪记录中的资料相同？如果不相同，我们就不会采取进一步的行动。小姐，嗯，怎么样了？你的个人资料跟我们记录中的完全符合，这显示你涉及我们正在调查的国际洗黑钱案件。我们怀疑你在新加坡的账户被用来进行非法交易。什么？这不可能啊！请你回到刚才的网站，点击通缉链接。照片中的人是你吗？是我，可是。我觉得你们一定搞错了，我是无辜的，一定是有人陷害我。这也是有可能的，不过我们需要进入你的银行账户，来看看是不是你的账户被用来进行大笔的黑钱交易。我我根本没有任何大笔金钱交易，而且我的户头里根本也没有这么多钱啊。要想证明这一点，我们必须进入你的银行账户，这样我才能知道你说我的是不是真的。你在这个网站提供你的银行资料。如果你真的是无辜的，那么你就没有理由感觉到害怕，对吗？那么这项调查就会终止，我也可以撤销你的逮捕令。这件事得到解决，案件也就了结了。到时我们会再打电话给你。不过我可提醒你，由于这个案件还在调查中，而且又是在中国犯案，所以你不准跟任何人讨论这件事情，或者通知新加坡警方。你明白吗？嗯，我明白。很好，我再打电话给你吧。然后。I just got a call from China Police, saying that I'm under investigation for international money laundering. It's a scam. Just ignore the person who called. But the caller ID shows the China Police emergency number. It's called spoofing. Scammer use such spoofing technology to make a fake caller ID appear on your phone. But they said they needed to access my bank account to see if there are any large and expensive transaction. Don't tell me you give them your user ID and PIN. They had a warrant of arrest for me. They said they were going to extradite me back to China. And they said they would withdraw the arrest warrant and close the case if they could just examine my account. Oh yeah, then your money's probably gone. Call the bank now. We need to make a police report immediately. The scammers first tricked the victim into believing that they were officers from the Singapore and China police force. They said if I didn't do as they instructed, they would get the Singapore police to arrest me and send me back to China. I have one year old baby and I can't leave her. I just wanted them to finish the investigation and close the case. So I did whatever they asked. I understand. Do you have your bank account number? This is my bank and my account number. Did you check the account after the call? Yeah, all the money is gone. How much? 19,900. Call the victim's bank and see where the money was transferred to. If it was transferred to another local bank, have the other bank freeze the account and obtain the bank account holder's details. Ask the bank to also flag it and report any activity from the account.
You are required to bring your IC and go down to the nearest police station. Please press zero. Hi, Inspector Lee from the Singapore Police Force. Hello, my name is Zheng. It appears there's a pending police case against you in China. I have to connect you with an officer from the China Police Force. Zheng Xianzhang, we believe you are a guy in Singapore to buy a gun to buy a gun to buy a gun to buy a gun. I'm going to send you a gun to buy a gun. You can buy it. No, I don't. I think you must have been wrong. I didn't buy a gun. There was no one who gave me the gun. 使用我的银行户口，我会把一个网站的链接传给你，请填写你的银行资料。一旦我们确定你的银行户头没有大笔的黑钱流入，这项调查就会立刻终止，随后我就能撤销你的逮捕令。According to Victims Bank, Miss Lee's money was transferred to an account at Orang Kebun Bank, which was registered under Malaysian Muhammad Afiq. When was Afik's account opened? About four days ago, at Blessed Branch. How much money is currently in Afik's account? According to the bank, there's already been two deposits. The first deposit was a total of $19,900 from a victim yesterday. And the second was $26,000, which was transferred into Afik's account about an hour ago. If my suspicions are correct, the $26,000 belonged to a second scam victim. The account was opened just four days ago, and there's already been two big deposits. Let's stop this scam before it claims more victims. Jimmy, I just interviewed Mr. Chen, and he told me he just got scammed by Inspector Meng Chair from the Chinese Police Force. The scammer used the same MO as with the first victim, and Mr. Chen's twenty-six thousand dollars was transferred out of his account. I just checked with the bank, and they did confirm. I've made an official inquiry with ICA. It is confirmed that Mohammad Afiq entered Singapore on twenty-second July. On the same day, he opened a bank account with Orion Global Bank's Balestier branch. He left Singapore later that day. There is a high possibility that Afiq will be entering Singapore to make a withdrawal soon. I've alerted ICA. To monitor and inform us the moment he enters Singapore. And the bank would alert us if there's any activity. Yes. So now, we wait for him to make his move. Hello. Go to Singapore immediately. Bring your ATM card and all the bank documents with you. I'll text you the amount to withdraw for the bank later. Jimmy. That was ICA. Afiq has just got immigration. Okay, we need to catch him in the act. Call Orion Global Bank to alert them. Ask them to inform us the moment Afiq steps into any of their bank branches. Only 12,600. Why not all? Hi, uh, I would like to make a withdrawal. Uh, can I get some identification? Is there any problem? No, sir. Uh, there's a large amount. I need to get approval from my manager. Please hold. Mr. Zai, we have a customer who wants to withdraw $12,600 from his account. However, his account has been red flag. What's the customer's name? Mama Afi. Okay. Jimmy, yes. it's Orion Global Bank. Afi is now at Balesa Branch trying to withdraw $12,600. Okay. I tend to delay him. We'll be there in 15 minutes. Let's go. Hello? Miss, may I know why taking so long? Mr. Afi, Mama Said, the branch manager. So sorry to keep you waiting. Could you please come with us? Why? There seems to be an issue with the account. But don't worry, we are checking on it. Perhaps we thought you might feel more comfortable waiting in the room. This way, please. We will settle this as quickly as we can. Um, Mr. Fick, you may have a drink while waiting. I... I don't want any drink. I need to leave. Uh, I'll sir, just come back later. 
Sir, Mr. Afik. Mama Afik, I'm Senior Investigation Officer Jimmy Tan from CID. I'm placing you under arrest for your involvement in dishonestly receiving stolen property. Your phone was sent to our forensic department and these messages were retrieved. Can you explain this? There have been two reports of cheating and the victims lost a total of $45,900. Coincidentally, this is the same amount that is in your bank account. All the money that were transferred to your bank account were obtained illegally. So tell me, Afik, are you responsible for cheating them of their money? What? No. Tiger just passed me some money and asked me to go to Singapore and open a bank account. What else were you supposed to do? I was just supposed to withdraw some money and then return back to JB. That's all, I swear. How do you know Tiger? I, I met him online. Muhammad Afik bin Ishaq was sentenced to 18 months imprisonment for assisting another person to retain criminal proceeds. Because我在这边结了婚 然后我也傻傻相信了。我想通过这个节目跟广大的群众来讲说，呃，千万不要像我这样，就是说轻易的就相信受受这个骗，就提醒广大观众一定要注意。呃，现在的行骗真的有很多方法，呃，真的是防不
consider the safest route. Stay out of view of the attackers. Insist others leave with you. Leave your belongings behind. Hide. If you can't run, hide. Find cover and stay out of sight. Place heavy objects behind doors to prevent access by attackers. Be very quiet and switch your phone to silent mode. Tell. When it is safe to do so, call the police at 999. SMS 71999 if it is not safe to talk. Give your location and where you last saw the attackers. Provide details about the attackers. If safe to do so, stop others from going towards danger areas. When the police arrive, follow their instructions. So, be vigilant, stay safe, and remember that if you encounter such a scenario, run, do not surrender or attempt to negotiate. Consider the safest route. Stay out of view of the attackers. Insist others leave with you. Leave your belongings behind. Hide. If you can't run, hide. Find cover and stay out of sight. Place heavy objects behind doors to prevent access by attackers. Be very quiet and switch your phone to silent mode. Tell. When it is safe to do so, call the police at 999. SMS 71999 if it is not safe to talk. Provide details on your location and the attackers. You can also use the SG Secure app to provide more information, photos and videos to the police. The SG Secure app allows you to receive important alerts, report attacks, make emergency calls and learn more about the SG Secure movement. You can download the SG Secure app from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. I'm DSP Jonathan Aoyong. Until next time, stay alert, stay united, stay strong.